Good evening. Here is the Lagos State News at 7. I am Taiwo Barua. In celebration of the 2024 International Day for Tolerance, the Ministry of Home Affairs has commemorated the day in Lagos with a walk for tolerance and a panelist discussion themed tolerance projects, the beauty in the diversity of human groups. In his keynote address, Lagos State Governor Babajidi Sonwole describes the day as crucial, dedicated to fostering peace, inclusion, and prosperity in a diverse society. Governor Sonwole, who was represented by his special advisor on Central Internal Audit, Oyeyemi Ayola, said his administration is committed to promoting initiatives that celebrate diversity while championing advocacy programs focused on intercultural dialogue and ensuring that the youth understand the values of respect from an early age. Our youth in particular need to understand the importance of inclusivity and how to navigate differences with an open heart and mind. Today's event reminds us that tolerance is not passive, but a conscious decision to engage respectfully with one another and seek common ground. In his welcome address, Commissioner Minister of Home Affairs, Ibrahim Lyard, they stated that although the youth are the focus of the program, there should be no limit to the target audience. According to him, religious bodies, traditional institutions, and everyone should not be left out in the quest for tolerance. Why? We focus our own topic on our youth. How are we going to say? We can see how our youth have been performing well. They are performing good with a lot of things that is happening in Nigeria. Head of service body, Aguru, who was represented by Mafia Woody, noted that tolerance has become a very vital necessity for the collective progress of Lagos State and the whole country in general. And the celebration brings to the forefront the shared commitment to fostering peace coexistence, mutual respect, and the appreciation for diversity. I urge all of us here, continue, here today to continuously work towards fostering a more understanding and peaceful state by practicing tolerance in our various homes, workplaces, communities, and societies at large. Resource persons at the event lectured on the topic restoring the lost faith of the youth in the Nigerian project and religious means of goal attainment, a task for all stakeholders. The Lagos Water Corporation, LWC, has announced the restart of the production at its major waterworks in Iju and Adinyo, following the success of its ongoing rehabilitation efforts Managing Director of the Corporation, Mokhtar Tijani, who announced this in his office, apologized for the inconvenience caused by recent water supply disruptions, appreciating the patience and understanding of customers. He said the corporation is prepared to serve the resident diligently and effectively, and as part of the Governor Babajide Sonwulu Thames Plus Agenda, to cater to the people of Lagos by ensuring adequate water supply to the people of the state. Zijani also announced that residents in Alexander, Bordelon, Parkview, in Ikui area will experience a temporary water shortage from Monday, November 18 to Saturday, November 23rd. According to him, this is to enable the contractor execute some critical component of the rehabilitation work that is currently ongoing in the Alexander Mini Waterworks. The managing director also pleaded with the resident of Lagos State to support the effort of Lagos Water Corporation by reporting any leakages on the pipelines to enable prompt repairs through the corporation customer care lines 0704 597 3012 or 0704 597 3013. The Lagos State's government has fixed Monday, November 18 to Friday, December 13 as the date for the second phase of the revalidation of schools examination codes exercise. 
In a statement signed by the director, Lagos State Examinations Board, Adebayo Onrushulu, the second phase of the rehabilitation exercise, revalidation exercise, became necessary to provide another opportunity for schools that missed out in the previous exercise. Orensholu noted that the exercise is scheduled to hold in the premises of the board in the Yanwe Kbaja area of the state between 9 a.m. and 4 p.m. daily. He noted that the affected schools are required to present stipulated documents to enable the board obtain accurate data of all schools for proper documentation and planning aimed at facilitating the conduct of credible and reliable examinations in the state. The document required an approval letter from the State Ministry of Basic and Secondary Education, subject recognition, inspection report, and receipt for payment of approved fee into the central billing system of the state. Others are receipt for payment for unique identification code, also known as school code, and the last result collected in the course of dormant schools. The Lagos State Government has announced that traffic will be diverted away from the lane outbound Apapa on the Marine Bridge from Monday, 18th of November 2024 to Tuesday, 25th of February 2025 for repairs of asphalt section. Commissioner for Transportation Uluwashi Mwashiemi, who announced these advice motorists to use the provided alternative route. He noted that motorists heading to Lagos Island from Apapa should go through Castain Roundabout inwards a coal bridge to link Lagos Island. They can alternatively use Ijora 7 up through the Marine Bridge to access the ramp to link Ijora Causeway, access road through Ijora Oluye inward Ijora Causeway and proceed to a coal bridge connecting Lagos Island. Motorists heading to Ijora Causeway and Ido from Mapapa can utilize Castine Roundabout to link a coal bridge and access Ijara Causeway through a coal bridge access ramp, after which they will make a U turn on Ijara Causeway to reach Ido. Those from Mapapa can go through Ijara 7 up through Marine Bridge to access a ramp to connect Ijara Causeway access road through Ijara Loi and link Ijara Causeway to get to Ido. The diversions will only affect inwards Ijara Lokba, while there will be movement to sustain via CFAX. Oshiemi, while assuring that traffic managers will be on duty at the diversion corridors to ease vehicle movement and minimize inconveniences, added that the duration of the repair works will be strictly monitored for delivery at due time. And that's it on State News at 7. But just before we go, always carry out proper and adequate checks on your vehicles before setting out. You can follow us and like all our various social media platforms. X, at Traffic Radio 961. Facebook, Lagos Traffic Radio 96.1 FM. Instagram, Lagos Traffic Radio 961. Subscribe and watch our news and programs live on YouTube at Traffic Radio Nine six one. You can also visit our website www.trafficradio961.ng. Oh, that the Song administration embarked on the implementation of gradual phase out of lay police prosecutors at magistrate courts in the state. You can get more details on the Lagos State Government website. For contacts with the newsroom, send a message to info at trafficradio961.ng. That ends the news broadcast compiled by Adewali Uluokoroku. I am Tayo Barwa. Thank you for listening. Good evening.